Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now, and today I'm gonna take you through how to deploy Node.js application to Kubernetes. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So first of all, you have to install uh, Docker docker desktop okay so you can click here on docker desktop and you can grab your package for your system okay uh, once you have it you can uh, simply search for docker and uh, you can now uh, start the docker okay and there is in setting there is an option to uh, enable the kubernetes so i'm gonna click uh, here okay so for the first time it will uh, take time okay so yeah after that you will get this little icon over here this is it after that what you need to do is you just need to install this kubernetes and docker if you want it's not uh, it's like it's good to have it okay so like let's search for kubernetes okay and you will get a uh, very first extension over here okay uh kubernetes it is yeah this one so yeah you need to install this thing after that simply search for the docker and you will get this uh docker okay so this is it i guess we can uh, start with very basic hello world program so we'll quickly create a new folder on here okay and name it whatever it may be as usual and i'm gonna name it app uh will be better yeah you can see cube all your choice no worries uh simply drag your folder and quickly start with your terminal over here you can click here or command g you can use okay after that uh, we'll quickly use uh we'll quickly create a new folder over here let's say app where we'll uh create a, a normal hello world project node.js okay so uh simply npm init okay let let me change the directory quickly and npm init hyphen y okay uh and npm install express this is it okay after that uh, you can start with creating your application over here just simply create index.js and uh normal const express uh require express okay after that uh let me create app quickly and uh here we go and we'll create an app.get here where we'll be having simple hello world application yeah i got it already and after that when we'll write the app.listen first uh, we need to take care about few things uh, first of all the port of course and uh, which will be 80 by default because uh, we are going to uh, deploy this in production we generally use port 80 so and after that you need a port uh, like host uh, that you need to use 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 .0. okay so this is it i guess uh, so we can start with our docker file okay if you guys not aware about docker file uh, that we use to build the image okay to build the image we are gonna uh, need one uh, another image let's say okay so in node okay so we don't need to install node.js separately otherwise you can directly use alpine as well so it will grab the alpine after that you can install you can run the commands like npm install uh, or sorry apk add node.js and all blah, like this is all up to you okay so we'll uh, go with normal node uh container and uh, container will be you can choose the version as well okay you can now uh, follow the official documentation and please choose to uh, this alpine image which will reduce the build size actually after that you need to uh, define your work directory okay work directory you can choose anything by the way inside container there will be a work directory let's say there will be an app okay now you need to first copy package.json to that particular app directory okay so so you can install all the uh, dependencies first and after that you can copy rest of the things or uh, selected things all up to you you can write dot or app it's it's also depends on you guys so this is it but don't forget to expose your port okay so let's say uh, expose will be of course 80 because this application is running on uh, 80 after that uh, once you have it 
okay docker available inside your system simply check docker hyphen hyphen version okay once you check uh, this is available inside your system you can hit the command the command is uh, very easy uh, inside app make sure that you are inside app okay so uh, this is inside cube i am inside app so here i'll write docker now uh, what we can say build to build the image and you can define the tag which will be your username slash your let's say now hello or something like that okay hello world okay so uh, this is it and now uh, the path where you wanna your docker file is okay so yeah you, you can hit enter it will take some time to grab the dependencies and uh, rest of the things till then what we will do is we will quickly uh, okay it's already done okay now we can uh, start with our next file which is our uh, that we are going to use for kubernetes okay so let's say cube.yml file okay so here the code is very easy uh, we can say api version that uh, uh, you need to define okay api version will be your apps slash v1 let's say after that kind means deployment we have to create and for the deployment we need a service okay so first we'll create a deployment after that you can define your metadata over here okay just name it it's all your choice like how you define the spec things okay so there are another variable uh, uh attribute we can say or parameter spec where you can define replicas if you want one two three four five uh, if not then uh, what we can do is i don't need replicas let's say i why this <laughs> okay cool no worries so first of all now i this very big code i guess i don't need that much of things so what we'll do we need normal selector of course we need a template as well okay where we'll be having labels then we can define your container okay inside container here you need to define your let me remove this here you have your image so you can name your image i hope you guys remember the name of image uh it's mahesh karya slash hello word yeah this is name of my image you can define version as well then you can define your ports ports will be your container port and after that you can define your image uh pull or uh, what we can say let me pull policy of course yeah so this is uh if you are using always means it will find for this repository or the uh, docker hub otherwise you can use never to not pull from the internet and pull from uh, uh, your system only so this is it i guess this is all we need after that we can use this uh, uh, separator to write another things like i need a service let's say to so api api version of course we will write v1 i need a v1 after that we need a kind of service okay after that we need a metadata and uh, after that we can define a spec inside spec we'll be having node port okay there is no need to use node port of course it's all your choice okay you can define data these things if you want okay most of the things are uh, the important things i already told you guys the image name you have to take care about the container port the image pool policy okay here you need to use port and target port of course okay the target port will be uh a port forwarding uh, you can do here as well the selector you can define if you want here okay if not then you can you can also do one thing like now uh, i need to define uh what you can say uh for load balancing of course so what we'll do is we'll quickly load balance uh, the time not okay cool here we need to define type actually type also will be a load balancer yeah this is it it will automatically uh, balance your like things uh this is it i guess we can uh, we are good to go and we'll quickly uh, write we'll change the directory first of course and we'll uh, quickly write the command which is kubectl if you don't have it you can grab it kubectl from uh, 
uh, like a brew install cube CTL or mini cube or there are lots of options you can get cube CTL no worries and after that uh, you can hit create okay cube CTL hyphen and name of file of course the uh, file name is cube or uh, dot yml of course so uh, this is it i guess that's all we need to do and once you do that you can hit uh, cube ctl and git pods okay yeah or git deployment this is it i guess yeah and after that once we go here once we hit localhost uh, i hopefully hello world we got so this is all guys thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here if you want something from my side please let me know inside comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel please and uh yeah uh, thank you so much and hit that that like that button <laughs> okay so thank you so much have a great day bye bye good day oh uh, let me